Hi, let's start the lecture one of Ultimate Python course. Don't write the notes. I will give you the slides as well as lecture notes in the description. Don't write the notes. And second thing is my assumption is that many of you are not from computer science background and you don't know programming at all. So I will start from very, very basics. Take care. So what is it we are going to look in this lecture is what is the difference between compilers and interpreters? Okay. So I have made slides for it, but I'll just give you the gist of it. So compiler, what will it do? It will take the entire program. So compiler, compiler will take the entire program. This is the entire program. And it will convert completely the entire program into executable file or machine language, right? Machine language, let us say .exe exe means executable so high level language the program will be in high level language it is converted into low level language by a compiler it will be in zeros and ones or it will be in byte code which is very close to machine language so what is a compiler it will take the entire program and convert it into machine language all at once now what is an interpreter interpreter will actually take the program line by line it will take the program line by line line by line and it will convert each line into executable code each line one line after one line therefore interpreter is relatively slow compared to compiler because every time after every instruction you have to invoke the interpreter to do the transfer the transform the next line into executable code that is the difference between compiler and interpreter and what is low level language assembly language byte code and machine language are low level languages low level language means it will be in zeros and ones computers can only understand low level language they cannot understand high level english like language right so what is high level language you might have seen a lot of c c plus plus java python JavaScript, all these are high level languages. So we either use a compiler or a interpreter to convert high level language into low level language. Okay. Sometimes we may use both. For example, Java is both compiled as well as interpreted. Python is also both compiled as well as interpreted, right? So what will happen in compiled and interpreted is, so generally if this is a program, if you give it to the compiler, it will generally generate the byte code. What is byte code? We will see them in detail in Java lecture. Okay, there I will focus more on byte code. So this byte code will be given to interpreter. Then interpreter will generate the machine code line by line, line by line. So this is also popular. Okay, so that's it. This is what I wanted to discuss in this lecture. I'll give you entire slides, just go through it. So to a computer, we are giving set of instructions and it is performing some tasks. And high level languages are designed by human beings, but computer understands only binary language, zeros and ones. Okay. And then high level language is given to a compiler. Compiler will give the machine code and that will run. I have given you an example to understand it. Let us say Rajmoli, who knows only Telugu, wants to direct Rajnikanth, who knows only Hindi. Then there should be some translation required, right? there should be some translation required the telugu script should be converted into tamil so that rajni khan can understand it right so what is happening here there are two ways one is you take the entire script entire story convert it into tamil and give it to rajni khan or you can go step by step by giving one line at a time take one telugu line give it to Rajnikanth in Tamil. That is called interpretation. If you are taking the entire script and giving to Rajnikanth by converting into Tamil, that is called compiled. Otherwise, it is called interpreted, right? So, if you are converting the entire script into Tamil, then that is compiled. Now, if you are converting step by step, if you are converting step by step, line by line, one line after one line into Tamil, then that is called interpreted. That's it, simple, right? 
So I have given you everything in slides. So basically, if you look at compiler, C, C++ uses compiler like compiler. Okay. And uh, Java and Python uses both compiler and interpreter. So they are compiled and interpreted. So Python runs in both uh, compiled and interpreted. Python is both compiled and interpreted language. Okay. Thank you. Hi everyone. I hope you have liked our YouTube videos which are given for free. Most of our courses for free but there are some paid courses as well. If you want to know about our paid courses please go to the website ravindrababuravla.in. There you can see the list of all the paid courses available like GATE CS, GATE DA. If you are interested in preparing for GATE DS, GATE CS, DA in order to join IITs, then definitely our courses will help you. Even if your plan is not to do masters, doing gate cs will help you will help you get into cloud based companies and doing gate da will help you become data scientists and ml engineers okay and coming to the study abroad so now if you are in a dilemma whether you want to uh, go abroad or whether you want to study gate uh, study prepare for gate and uh, write for the exam please do whatsapp us on the number shown in the website okay you can whatsapp us on this number and there is study abroad program as well. You can go and learn more about it, right? So either you want to go for MS or uh, either you want to go for MTech or you want to join a software industry in a product based company. We have all the courses required on our website and all these courses are amazing courses. You will definitely love it if you are loving the YouTube courses. Okay. Thank you.